Yo! Today, I'm gonna be showing you the genre that has taken over the tight beat game in 2024. It's literally the most in-demand genre right now. Every artist is after it. Apologies on the no uploads over the past couple of weeks. I have been in London. I had some sick sessions with Chase and Status and JME and a few others. And guess what we were making? That's right, Hood Trap. It's what everyone's after right now and I'm ahead of the curve. I've been making it non-stop for the past three to four months. And I think right now I'm sitting on about five or six unreleased Hood Trap songs that I know of. I've been contacted by multiple artists for Hood Trap Beats. I've also been contacted by multiple a &Rs, managers regarding the genre. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you exactly how to make these beats and how artists want them made. Everyone makes hood trap at kind of different tempos. I personally think the sweet spot is between 150 to 155. So today we're in the middle. We're in 153. But there is some sick hood trap beats that are made at around 170 BPM. So I don't know. It's kind of just up to the artist. Melody wise, you can kind of do whatever you want. That's the kind of fun thing about hood trap. There is no rules. Like in the JME session that I had, we made a hood trap beat, but we also kind of mixed with grime and it just came out insane but today we're gonna go for something dark shocker best way to capture a dark atmosphere is actually to get a piano chord down so we're gonna come into noir and contact we're gonna take the dark preset and we are working in the scale of b minor right now um all i am going to do is let's pitch that down maybe something like that even a little bit lower maybe there we go nice that big low note at the bottom that's what's really giving us that atmosphere. Next, we're going to capitalize on this dark atmosphere by using pads. We're going to create a very simple but yet effective chord progression for dark melodies. And X-Band 2 is so goated for dark pads, the VST costs like $10 on sale. We're taking this water choir. Sounds a bit crazy. Um, we just want to play around with these tension notes here. So we're going to push that up to G and then copy and paste. Best way to get nice sounding pads is to layer multiple pads. This one's called a shaku pad, which I believe is after the shakuachi, which is an instrument I love, but it's sounding very, very dry. Gonna whack on some Valhalla reverb and also some pancake to give it a bit of width. Oof. That slight bit of texture that that part is adding is insane. Next, we're going to grab a stringed voice. And once again, same chord progression. Bro, I'm having such bad back problems. I'm not going to lie. This producer posture has caught up to me. Finally, I kind of want some kind of like side chainy, jumpy kind of pad in the background. So we're coming into Firelight and we're whacking a bit of Kickstart 2 onto it, which is going to give us that side chain. And we just want to play around with the tension notes. So it's going to go. And um, we can just layer that over multiple times. Now it's got that kind of like jumpiness to the melody. I kind of want a, a little bit more texture and depth to the melody. So we're going to come into Atom in Contact, which has multiple textures, atmospheres, all those kind of things. And we're going to try to get some textures in here. That's actually kind of nice. That sounds like a riser. And then all together, it sounds like this. See, those textures make such a difference, man. Now, we're going to come over here. We're going to click Consolidate the Melody, in which we are now going to click Reverse. And we're also going to repitch up 300 cents. So we're going to be up to C sharp minor. Oof. That's cold. Now it's time for some drums. The only drum kit I've been using for the past four months is my Hood Trap drum kit. If you want sounds that are going to improve your beats and high quality sounds that artists do enjoy, then go grab this drum kit, especially my go-to Spins 808. Every artist I've played it to has says that it's the hardest spins they've heard. So if you think your sounds or your mix is the problem on why you're not getting that placement, then get rid of that problem. Go get the drum kit, man. It's certified. Link for it in the description. I'm going to start off with a very simple snare pattern. And 
And now we just kind of want to bring in some extra snares around this main bounce to add to the groove and the swing. If we put like, switch them up a little bit, mess with the velocity. Some people might be saying, yo, where's the hi-hats? Don't worry, we're actually going to throw in some hats for this beat. Get this nice hat effect. Make sure your envelope and your hat's like this. And lastly, a couple of extra perks, a couple of claps. And also a rim. The bounce on this is so sick. Next, we need to do the 808s. And I feel like I'm going to use a couple of different 808s for this. First one being my go-to spins 808. And we're just going to lay this on top of the original snare. Now, in these gaps here, after the spins 808s, we're going to use different 808s to kind of bridge the gap. radio alarm and the thing is with these hood trap beats they normally have a bit of a switch up so for this we're gonna pitch up the melody that sounds cold by the way we are then gonna pitch up our main snare pattern up to e we're also adding in this perfect hat loop from my hood trap drum and we're also switching out the 808 to my hood trap 808 from the hood trap drum kit which then goes like this want to have a section we're gonna have a section where a rim comes in as like a standard trap rim all right we have fully arranged the beat it's looking a bit mad due to automations but it's actually not that mad whatsoever we really haven't done anything too crazy i'm gonna play it on full but one noticeable thing that i have done to swap between the high octave melody to back into the normal melody i've duplicated the melody with a pitch down and i also have it still pitched up 12 and then i'm just playing with the automation of the pitches down here and that's how it like goes back in i think that's just a smooth way of doing it i also have a cut in the beat where i've also pitched the melody for this 808 But if you're new to this channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button for me. If you're an OG, make sure you smash the like button for me. It's much appreciated. What is that in the corner of... That is the maddest looking thing ever. The sun is the sun is shining through on the wall. I thought that was something on my camera. If you're an OG, make sure you hit the like button for me, man. And in the comments, let me know what you want to see me upload. Whether it's a certain tutorial, whether it's a certain collab, whatever it is, let me know in the comments, man. Here is the full beat. Enjoy. This is pretty smooth all the way through. This part with the rim is so nice. Woo! Throw the 
away that comes back in as well. Big up Hood Trap. Big up you for watching. Appreciate you for watching, man. Run me up on Instagram and TikTok because they're doing you two things care about. I'm out. Good luck. See you later. Bow.